thank you so much for joining us for Back Like Boston presented by Luminary and Dance. This quarter, we're here at the Dance Complex in Cambridge at 24 Hour Choreo Fest. I hope you enjoy our next couple of interviews. So joining me here at 24 Hour Choreo Fest is our first interview with Boston Community Dance Project. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Yay! Yay! So you guys have pulled your themes out of the hat. You know, what was the first one that you guys pulled out? Well, I gave a little wave and yeah. then I gave a little buzz to give a little energy to it. And what we first got was, this is why, dot, dot, dot. So what was kind of your thought? You pulled that out of the hat, you're like, this is why, what are you thinking? But no, obviously it can go a lot of places. So, you know, there's a lot of question or, or search, searching, if you will, that we could do with it. So if we did our second one, like lizard people, <laughs> Like, why not add the challenge, you know what I mean? Sure. So, like, this is, we want to go, like, go big or go home with this experience. So, it's not like whether we like it or not, it's like, yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get together, like, as a group and discuss the, the theme and what each person kind of thought on the theme? Well, we are the number one interview, <laughs> Russell. So, like, you are seeing us in raw footage. <laughs> yet to really say anything other than that we're going to possibly use our tongues and some opera. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe each one of you can kind of tell me, you know, as a dancer, you know, slash choreographer, what you guys are hoping to get out of this experience. You know, obviously it's a huge time commitment, you know, that you're doing this. So, you know, maybe each one of you can say a little bit about you know, what you're hoping, hoping to get out of choreography. Okay. Well, um, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Tell <laughs> um, I think for me, especially because I teach dance and I'm a choreographer, so I'm hoping to get out of this. Usually, where most of the time you usually have time to plan, where this isn't really like a huge time to plan. So I mean, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you know I like to listen to music beforehand and kind of get into it. But we don't really have that shot this time. So I'm hoping that this will be my chance to really get in my brain without having that preparation time, but then come up with some really good stuff that I didn't know I was capable of. Yeah. Anybody else? One word. I feel like creating this is going to be different because I'm only 11 years old. I don't make my own songs. I don't make my own songs. I've seen you in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> my bus <best> ride. <laughs> but I feel like it's going to be a different experience. Joining me here at Choreo Fest is Nozoma. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. So you guys, you know, you, you know, a couple minutes. You guys have thought, you know, talked about your themes a little bit. Do you want to share you know, what you guys first pulled out? You know, is your first theme? Sure. So our theme is conjure magic, and they will be distracted, take away freedom, and they will roar. Okay. So this was the first one we pulled, and we we are married to it. Nozoma's thing is women telling stories that we can. So we, this is kind of what we do best. It takes a lot of that. It has a lot of different meanings for people. You know, we do this. Like, okay, so how does this relate to your life or like your life? And then how can we tell that story so that a larger audience can take away something from it? You know, I think for me, one of the biggest things about this company was the ways that everybody in it empowers each other. Um, and for me, that was really important. Important. Um, and I actually left the stage and moved and was elsewhere and even while I was gone I was still drawn back to come to, back to this family for performances and ended up moving back ultimately um, and I think a big part of that was the community that they foster. Everyone is so involved in making sure that the people around them feel strong and feel confident. So maybe a few of the people you know we haven't heard from, do you guys want to talk about you know this this whole process of Choreo Fest, you know, what what you guys are hoping, you know, to get out of it, you know, coming into this obviously, you know, it's a, a big time commitment and something that, you know, uh, takes a lot out of you, uh, both physically and mentally. So maybe you guys want to talk about what you're hoping, you know, to get out of this at the end of the day, you know, 24 hours later, what, what you'll have experienced. <laughs> Think 
about it beforehand or come up with kind of prepackaged choreography. So what we're about to develop is completely brand new. We haven't thought about it. We haven't moved in this way before. So it's just going to be really exciting and surprising. So joining us is Luminary and Dance uh, here at Choreo Fest. Thank you, Luminary. Hey. Thank you. So, you know, it's been a few minutes. You guys have pulled, you know, your theme out of the hat. Um, obviously, you guys kind of took it and ran with it. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing with it. Well, we're going to be doing some dance choreography for the Dance Complex. Um, and we're going to be doing some dance choreography for the Dance Complex. Um, you know, and there's a lot more going on. This is kind of a different year for you guys, you know. Um, let's first kind of talk about your theme and what you guys were thinking as far as, you know, your theme when you first pulled that out of the hat. Um, we pulled two themes. Well, what's the first thing um, you pulled out? We pulled eerie interludes mm -hmm. and something along the lines of beauty is chaos. And something about ugly is yes. perfection. Yes. I believe. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> That well, word really close. spoke to us. <laughs> yeah, it did actually. <laughs> so do you wanna you wanna talk about how, you know, the that first theme that you pulled out you kinda spoke to you guys? Well, in terms of the theme, I thought it was kind of interesting in the sense that this event for us this year is our year the season in the sense that we're here alone. And that's very strange. Normally we have our dancers. Yeah, and this we year <laughs> Well, we've been joking about having the two of us both choreograph a duet forever. Mm -hmm. And we joke about it because we don't make a lot of physical body contact usually. Ooh, Sorry, well, I don't know. <laughs> no, that's actually less weird than that. Right. Um, but also because Kim is very tall and strong and I'm very weak and small. <laughs> so as a result, we, we've joked about this for a really long time. And so this we were like, we're going to embrace it. We're going to actually do that. We're going to choreograph the duet on ourselves. We don't know if it's going to ultimately stay on ourselves, maybe it will transfer to other people on our country down the road, but it is a little eerie to be songs dancers mm. for maybe the first month? I think, yeah, I think the first time. Strange. I think that's really good there. So speaking of devoting that time, you know, amongst all of your other responsibilities and everything else going on tonight, <laughs> how are you going to find that interlude, you know, to, yeah, to make your theme eerie interlude, to, yeah. to uh, choreograph your piece on um, yourselves? I, I mean, we're pretty good at the work part of things. Uh, I think, like, I know what I have to do, especially in the morning, a lot of the tech stuff, my shift rules, um, and become lighting, sound, all of that. Um, Mary is fantastic about sneaking around the building <laughs> with the video camera. We also have a tremendous amount of support this year in the building. Um, we have our new Lucy intern, Lillian Gaylord, so she's actually helping run the blog and help with Lucy. Um, we have Nicole Harris, yeah. who's helping us, who's on hand for like anything that goes wrong or right or whatever, anything you need, she's ready to jump in. And she brought the coffee, yeah, which is really key. Extra points to Gloria Festival, yeah. Yep. Um, we have Karen Krolak from Monkey House as well, who is our choreographic guru this evening, and she's she did this role last year as well. It was a tremendous help. She mm -hmm. goes through the building and offers help where needed. And sometimes it's not needed, but other times it's very much needed. She's just an extra set of eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, we actually feel that we can kind of devote our attention to this piece. And then when we take breaks, we'll yeah, follow into our other roles. So what do you see as your biggest challenge you know, for yourselves as choreographers this evening? Getting something to the point where it's okay and being okay with that. Not necessarily realizing, I mean, yes, we're performing these pieces tomorrow, and yes, we want to be like totally enthusiastic about what we're showing, um, but I think not splitting hairs if something isn't working. If, like, time is a tool, you know? So not like really driving ourselves nuts if something just isn't coming together. Just having some mental flexibility, I think, would be important. Thank you, Luminarium, so much for joining us. Uh, obviously, if people want to hear more about 24 Hour Choreo Fest, uh, about Backlight Boston, they can join us on uh, Luminarium Dance Cover.
It was so exciting to chat with the choreographers before they got to work. As you can see, they all made some inspired work and the culminating concerts were fantastic. I can't wait to see where they take their pieces from here. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can tweet to us at Backlight Boston or email us at info at luminariumdance.org. We hope to see you next quarter.